Greetings friends and enemies and welcome back to Art by Flynn. Today we have our bi-monthly uh, sketchbook tour. Um, and you would be wondering, Danny, why do you have Clip Studio Paint open if you're going to do a sketchbook tour? Well, concerned viewer, that's because I haven't actually uh, done a lot of physical sketching in my sketchbook this month. I've done like maybe one thing in my actual sketchbook and the last two months have mostly just been me sketching digitally. It's just what I felt like doing. So we're gonna look at um, some of the digital stuff I've done throughout the last two months. Um, starting with stuff you haven't seen on the channel because I think the earliest thing I have saved is yeah my mermaid stickers uh, that I worked on. So uh, you guys have already seen those, obviously, so what do we have here? So first up, we have a picture of Maya. I did around the time of Mother's Day. Um, I just, I really love Maya, and I wanted to draw her all prego and happy because she really loves, she really loves her kids, and she really enjoyed uh, carrying them and having them, and so when I did something for Mother's Day, I just sort of defaulted to her. When I do anything for any day, I sort of default to her. So, yeah. Um, and I guess... A lot of people wouldn't consider this a, a sketch or a doodle, but it's just some line art and some color, so it's not exactly what I would call a finished piece, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out because I really love this general pose. It was really stiff and awkward until I found some, you know, actual reference for things, and I think it came out really great. Speaking of Maya and her children, next up we have a doodle I did of Rory. I want to talk more about um, him on my um, Instagram, so I just sort of did this quick and easy thing excuse me, to post on Instagram so I could talk more about him and his story and his relationship with his mother. Um, so if you're interested in all of that, you can definitely go check that out on my Instagram. Um, up next we have, I think, okay, so you can't really see this one. <laughs> oh no, yeah, okay. So this was a doodle of my uh, Elder Scrolls Online character, the one I was playing at the time. I focused pretty heavy on uh, like, I had a bow user, and a magic user, and a healer, and I didn't really have anybody who sort of special, who actually used a, you know, a weapon, besides a bow, obviously, so I ended up doing a one-handed, uh, dragon knight for Elder Scrolls Online for a while, and this was her. Um, I used her to play through the Morrowind expansion, which was a lot of fun, because she was a dark elf, um, and she's supposed to sort of be holding a whip, <laughs> a whip of fire that I, is it on? Yeah, okay. There it is, yeah. So she must be kind of holding a flame whip, which is one of the abilities in the game, and of course holding her sword and wearing all that fancy armor. Of course, whenever I do anything in Elder Scrolls, the armor is excruciatingly detailed, so I end up uh, breaking it down. This was actually going to be a finished piece, this along with two others, but I sort of lost momentum for them, so it's not. <laughs> it's just a sketch. I really liked it when I finished it. I felt really happy with like the posing, because I used to reference and everything. And then I sat on it too long, ended up not liking it. So, yeah. Um, oh, I uh, don't see any of that. Next up we have, ooh, this might be too spicy for YouTube. We'll see. Um, my character Lilith in sort of a pinup inspired kind of deal. Um, I did this uh, uh, smash or pass thing on my Instagram story. I do a lot of fun things on Instagram. You should definitely follow me there if you don't. Links in the description. Um, and Lilith was by far the character with the most amount of smashes and the least amount of passes. Which is a shame if you're male because she's a total lesbian. <laughs> so I just drew a little pinup of her. I, I still kind of want to finish this one. I'm just, I'm lazy. Um. Why not this one? Okay, so this one is, if it wants to open. Oh, no, it's going to open Photoshop. No. Pardon me while I wait for Photoshop to open. At least this one won't take, you know, 600 years. <laughs> so here we have my um, Apprentice, the design I have for my Apprentice for the Arcana. Uh, I love that game so much. I'm so into it right now, which you could probably tell uh, from one of my previous speed paints where I did that um, OT3 picture. But so this was my first pass at designing a character. Uh, my apprentice for that game. I've not changed her very much. I changed up her bangs uh, But beyond that she's basically still the same as I've designed her here. Gotta be careful not to open <laughs> Photoshop stuff um, and 
I think that's all I can show you from there. Moving on to my drop box, there's a lot in there. Um, this is also from like early May. All these are May, June. So I was playing around this time, I was playing the game um, Frostpunk, if you're familiar at all with that. Uh, it's like a, a building survival type game thing. And it's like a post-apocalyptic sort of situation where everybody, for some reason, travels north, a post-apocalyptic steampunk game, everybody travels north, and you have this big heater in the middle that you have to build your city out around, so you have to build your resources and your, your tents and everything, and keep everything heated, and keep fuel in the heater, and it's really fun, and it's aesthetically beautiful. It is gorgeous, but it's really hard. <laughs> I don't- I still don't think I built, beat the first scenario yet. It's really hard. Uh, but anyway, I was really inspired by that, so I was kind of designing um, a theme around it. So here we have um, a look at some outfits. I kind of wanted- kind of took um, inspiration from, like, ancient Scandinavian clothing and stuff like that to sort of um, build around. And then this was the same outfit, but with the, um, with the like, coat and stuff on top. So this was just uh, sketches and things to get the idea out of my head, essentially. But moving on. So this was done around the time of the Met Gala. The theme was something biblical. I can't remember now. But everyone was doing their Met Sona. So um, you would draw yourself or, or something out how they would dress if they went to the Met Gala. And so that's what I did. I really am happy with how this came out. I just... I'm really pleased with it. I think shading it or whatever would definitely ruin it and detract from the design and aesthetic I had in mind, but I'm really, really happy with how this came out. <laughs> um, I think I've shown this before, but I'll show it again. Um, this is just me playing with colors. I was trying to find, so what I was trying to do was I was trying to do, because around the time the uh, Metsona Gala met sona thing was going on there was also your pokemon gym leader sona kind of thing going around um so i wanted to do that well i couldn't ever decide on a design because i wanted something maybe you know a little more closer to me or did i want to go completely fantastical and just make up something that looked completely different and so i whittled it down to using a uh, witch sona sketch i did um, but I couldn't decide on colors. I, like, I kind of wanted to be a fire trainer and I couldn't decide if I wanted to be a fire or fairy And I just I ended up scrapping the whole thing So this is just that with some colors thrown on it because I was trying to figure out a freaking color palette And I couldn't do it and I eventually I just I just scrapped the whole project um, Here we have a sketch of Maya. It was getting warm about this time uh, Finally, I live in the northern United States, so uh, it usually doesn't really warm up and stay warm until about May, late May, early June. <laughs> well, sorry, late April, early May, but sol solid by the time June comes around. So I just drew Maya uh, waving in the summertime because I kind of wanted to do just a generic thing, but make even my generic poses more interesting and a little bit more dynamic. So she's kind of waving like, hey, what's up? <laughs> um... A doodle of Azra from the Arcana. We'll just, again, scribbles. And so, speaking of the Arcana, these, whenever I find a ship I like, of course I'm going to design children for them. So these are um, <laughs> the children of my apprentice Cersei and Julian and Azra, because I ship all three of them. So nobody can stop me can't can't take it away from me so anyway this is um their oldest they um i think i ended up naming them vasca yeah vasca um they are um uh non-binary and this one is elias and he identifies as male but there's more about those on my instagram if you're into the arcana and you're interested in my stupid ramblings about my ocs and my ocs children with canon characters so yeah <laughs> You can you can stop on by Instagram if you want to know more about that. Um, it was Astra's birthday. I'm like I said, I'm really into the Arcana right now. You'll have to bear with me while I work through this. Um, so I did a doodle of him in shorty shorts and a crop top because again, no one can stop me. I yeah. So this was a doodle of uh, my Arcana apprentice Cersei, just like a whole page of doodles of her, just to sort of get. 
just to get things down because I was just, I was in kind of a block. <laughs> so I just have a whole bunch of doodles of her just saying and doing random things that sort of uh, <laughs> have to do with the game. This one is probably my favorite because it makes me think of, oh shit, there are nipples here. Whoops, anyway, uh, I think it's from Fam, no, it's from Futurama. And they go to talk to somebody who was brainwashed and he goes, what did I do? Who did I kill? Well, in the in the arcana, you're, the character you're playing as has no memory and you're investigating the death of a of the count so it's like what did i do who did i kill well we have no proof that they that your character killed it i thought it was just a funny joke so we just have a whole page of doodles of cersei again just to sort of get art stuff out um this is a doodle of agent eight the new um octarian character a new octoling uh, character from the Splatoon 2 DLC, which was so much fun, y'all. It was so much freaking fun. I loved it. It was A plus, worth the money. Love it. I'm never taking, I'm never being, I'm never playing an inkling again because my octoling is just too fracking cute. So that's sort of what I did. I drew her in the armor I have, which is like the octoling armor you get and one of the uh, headbands from the recent updates. But I think I, I'm not really happy with this. I would say, but. I think it's still kind of cute. <laughs> More art of Cersei. Like I said, I've been really into the Arcana and really love drawing her as Cersei herself as an OC. Um, so here I am just playing with dresses and outfits and trying to be a bit more dynamic and posing and not entirely succeeding, but having a good time learning. And that's what's important. Here was uh, more practice. So this was expression practice. Um, so as you can see, I have all these fracking layers here, and they all apply to different um, expressions. Again, I just use Cersei as a as a template to sort of practice these things because I don't feel like I get um, enough facial range in my pictures, um, and my work's pretty generic in that term, in that sense of oh, they're all just slightly smiling and posing and being pretty. So I wanted to um, work on that and get just work on moving faces more than i already do you know so when so i don't get stuck in a rut so i found one of those uh, um uh, facial expression memes and the only problem i had with it was that they didn't include the nose well two things one the original meme didn't include a nose and your whole face moves when you make expressions so i ended up <laughs> getting uh using a mirror that i have in my phone case to sort of kind of figure out how the nose moves with these expressions. So all my coworkers saw, because I worked on these at work, was just me making faces at my phone, trying to draw them. And the other thing I think this particular exercise lacks is um, body movement, because rarely do you ever just um, make an expression with your face, you also make it with your body. But I really wanted to focus on faces, so that's that's what this is all about. In the future, I'll probably do more, um, more body expression studies, if that's... <laughs> <laughs> if that's what I want to call it. And I think the last thing I have, I haven't, I don't feel like I've drawn a lot this in the last two months. I've been kind of in a rut and taking a break. But um, the last thing I have here are some busts. This is of a character from Leviathan. He's not a good man. He's part of Clara and Orion's story. And uh, he hadn't gotten a makeover. I hadn't, probably hadn't drawn him since God knows when, 2010 maybe eight years ago so I sort of gave him an updated look and sort of to sort of suss out because we had another idea for that particular part of the story and I wanted to give him a new kind of current look in my current style and whatever so yeah that's been a look at everything I've been drawing lately if you like what you see don't forget to click that like button you can subscribe to get a new sketchbook tour video for me every month sometimes it's old art sometimes it's recent stay tuned to find out um, special shout out to my patrons over on Patreon, Adrian Scribbles and Parzavale. You guys rock. And thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.